kids who think that they can do their own research. Don't do any of your own research. Doing your own research is associated with conspiracy theory circles. This go-it-alone approach, doing your own research, that can have serious consequences. You should get prison time for even questioning the... Can we all stop saying, I need to do my own research? That phrase, do your own research, four words, four little words that are hurting America. Doing your own research hurts America. Everybody has a supercomputer in their hand that empowers them to do their own research, and that's the problem. You must not do your own research. Oh, I need to do my own research. I don't ever understand what that means. I'm doing my own research. You can't do your own research unless you're a scientist. Don't do your own research. Maybe you've told yourself you're playing it safe, you just want to wait and see. No. Grow the f*** up. Do you actually know what you are watching when you turn on the TV? Do you really see what they're showing you? This world is not what you've been led to believe. And you're not just being entertained. Like, you hear about it, but it's, it's, it's dark and demonic energy that this industry was built on. If you watched the opening ceremony for Gothard Tunnel, you would be left with a strange feeling. This five-hour event was attended by governments from across the globe to celebrate the opening of the world's longest tunnel. But the bizarre show was clearly satanic, and it had no obvious relevance to a train tunnel opening. We are constantly being bombarded with biblical symbolism, with strong demonic themes. If it's not Satan himself, it's horned figures, or the number 666, or people wearing robes, standing in a sacrificial circle, or offerings being made at an altar. Lil Nas X gave Satan a lap dance in his video, Call Me By Your Name. And no one batted an eyelid, because it's art, or because it's funny, or because it's cool. But at some point, you have to stop and think. Why is this symbolism so prevalent? And why is it even included in pop music, or artists who are not edgy rock stars? By the end of this video, you will realize that there's nothing actually edgy or artistic about it at all. Art is supposed to be unique, and that's often what makes it special. But these videos are just repeating the same thing. When you compare all of the footage together, you can see that they keep showing the exact same symbols and the exact same biblical scenes. Many of these artists preach atheism although some claim to be Christian. If they were really atheists, then why would they keep recreating biblical scenes? And if they are actually Christian, then why are they so obsessed with the devil? One obvious theme that's repeatedly pushed in the media is the story of Adam and Eve, a story that depicts the fall of mankind. <laughs> 